and even more now than ever, is a need, it's a necessity for gatekeepers to keep those from the outside from invading the holiness, the sacredness of what we got going on the inside. And so we need gatekeepers in the house of God. We need gatekeepers in business. We need gatekeepers in politics. We need gatekeepers in the education realm. We need gatekeepers all over in every sphere of influence. We need holy, sanctified, anointed, ordained gatekeepers to protect the kingdom agenda. More now than ever, we need God's people to be on post. We need every watchman to keep watch. Now is not a time to be sleepy. Now is not a time to be weary. Now is not a time to be taking a snooze, a nap. It's time to climb the walls and to get up on your post on high so that God can give you the ability to see in the distance what's coming. I don't want you to tell me about what's in my bank account. I don't need you to remind me of what my address is. I want you to prepare me for the coming of the Lord. We need some watchmen. We need some voices that's going to prepare his people for the coming of the Lord. Please. Tell me what's in the distance. Tell me how to prepare that's it. for what's coming. Please and thank you. We need some watchmen over the city. We need some watchmen within our own household. Yes, we need some gatekeepers from allowing access to these foreign invaders that's coming oh, in, try to rob you of your peace, try to rob you of your dignity, try to rob you of the holiness of God. They're trying to rob and take your children captive. They're trying to rob and take your husband and wives captive. We need some gatekeepers to say no. You cannot come on in. Glory to your name. Yes, Lord. 